self-defense weapons for the home. I got one uh, suggestion over and over and over again that was super surprising, and it was this thing. Is that a shield? Yeah. Is it a shield? Yeah. <laughs> what? A ton of people said the, the cold steel buckler. That's what that is. So I ordered one. Yeah, it looks like a like Kung Lao. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm about to like I'm about to Kung Lao somebody. But here's what's funny is I've been playing with it, and uh, I kind of think it might work. It's super intuitive. I could hand that to my three year old. I could put that in her hands, and she would figure out how to use it to defend herself really quick. But I think that this is more. I think this is less of a shield and more of a weapon with defensive capabilities. I think what's important for self-defense weapons is that it's cool if you wanna devote a lot of practice to using one just for fun, or maybe you use it on duty, like if you're a cop that uses batons or tasers or stuff like that. But for the regular person, I don't know how much time, unless it's your hobby, that you're gonna spend working with it. Why I kinda of like this, bear with me, this is not sponsored by them, I bought this. Mm -hmm. And it, to, to go ahead and put it in perspective, I ordered it, mm -hmm. got it, and within 30 minutes of having it, I ordered two more. Okay. So bear with me. If you're a boxer or a Muay Thai guy or karate guy or whatever, however you fight, boom, 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 bang, bang. That's how I want to fight. I don't have to change anything. You put this in my hand. I don't have to change a single thing I did. Bah! Yep. You know, you can jab with this. That thing hurt. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never used one of these. I've done a, I've done a, don't tell anybody, but I've done a little bit of reenactment stuff. I did some. <laughs> yeah, I was, of course you did. I was in that club in. I was in. I took Latin in high school. I was in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit of it. It'd be cool to use it like this, but it's very small. It's meant to be used like this. Like think if you're a Muay Thai guy, like long guard. Like you put this in their face. But the issue is, grab it. Here's the cool thing about if they grab it though. If they grab it one hand and try to pull it out of my hand, I have a handle. He's yeah. not getting this out of my yeah. hand. Do you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna put two hands on it. Mm -hmm. And then, no, I can't pull Jay to me, but I can pull myself to Jay. Mm -hmm. So if I, I stick this- I focus on this. Yes. I focus on trying to get this. And we know that to be true. People fixate when a weapon becomes involved. First yeah. of all, you're gonna laugh at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has to shoot. Like, yeah. All right, Captain America Jr., yeah. you know? <laughs> um, and we're gonna talk about more how I strike. I wanted to do like a bunch of Captain America shit with it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really work that way. If I put this out there and you become fixated, everyone becomes fixated on the weapon. You pull in, you're trying to get out of my hands. I've got a good strong handle. I'm hitting you the whole time. Or if I had a weapon, which we need to see this against weapons mm -hmm. and we need to see it with weapons. Okay. Versus unarmed, I think this is, I think this would really, really work. I think, I kind of even think for law enforcement that this would be a viable option. Hook this thing, keep it in your car, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and one little quick thing when we talked about home defense weapons, being able to leave this around if you have kids, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like knives and guns, swords, yeah, so no, no. machetes, yeah. you can't really leave that stuff around. This, you could leave anywhere. They're super cheap, so if it gets stolen, or you lose it, or it breaks, and we're, we're, we're probably gonna break this one. Right? We're probably gonna yeah. break this one. That's so, the plan, that's the goal. You're trying to punch. You're never gonna punch me. You didn't, yeah, you're never gonna punch me. Boom! And you're gonna get hit yeah. the whole time. But hitting with this thing, you can't just, dude, I really think that this is, you can make this work. Yeah, uh, you definitely gotta do something with the handle. You, I think a, uh, like a, some kind of you can put some it. grip tape, like yeah. a, like, like someone could wrap it there themselves. They have it a little bit like a like a like a tennis racket type mm -hmm. grip. Um, dude, some kind of some way <laughs> to absorb it, you know, like a shock absorber kind of thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel good to hit with. Or maybe I'm just a wuss. That's no, it's it. not comfortable. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're both wusses. Yeah, no, I don't know about right? that. <laughs> I can't decide whether strike. So there's striking here. We run into like wrist flexion issues because mm -hmm. it's not. It changes. It's not precisely like a punch. Yep. I mean, you practice, you could practice with it and get better, but it changes your punch mechanics. Here, this like looks cooler, but the handle's not really designed to, it, this is not meant to be held like that. Mm -hmm. Cause even like blocking, like if I, I would love to just make a boxer shell out of this, but if you threw like a right hook, oh, right? Uh, no, like, like up, up top, top, yeah, up top. 
that, that hurt, it's <laughs> nothing stops it from turning because yeah. it's not like a shield where you have a handle and then a strap on your forearm. It's <laughs> no, meant it's to be used like this, which doesn't look as cool, but it's much more like. Yeah, I can't like. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Fixate on that. Yeah, fixate on that. Boom. They're never gonna see those. Yeah. Can we get into a wrestling match? All right. Boom. I hit that. I hit that. You know what I mean? I run you down. Here, I'll bring you back. <laughs> now you lay down, right? <laughs> now you lay down. I run you down, right? This thing right here. Boom. Bang, bang. You only give it a try, do you? Yeah. There you go. You know? Because I think I'm, I'm going to be looking at this. Bang, and bang. forget you have another hand. <laughs> yeah, what you know about that? <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Or, dude, I don't even have to look. I just go. Yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> boom. Ah. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that didn't even feel good. That was really. <laughs> It's a fucking evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to hit him anywhere good. I don't know. It might not hurt that bad hitting something that's not like hitting a heavy bag is different than hitting, you know, a person. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cliff. How's that feel? Good. Like powerful? It jams yeah. your thumb a little bit. Yeah. So I think it's really gotta be for um like uh that, that sucks. Like that hurts. Go. I feel nothing hitting that, and that'd be more likely about hitting someone in the head or yeah. the top of their body moves more when you hit it. Yeah. Like the bag and the body is grounded, so when I hit, more force goes back this way. So you're doing a jab. Now I they're just figured fast out. With it too, for, I mean, you're pretty fast with it. Yeah. Well, it's it definitely weighs on you more. Like I feel yeah. jab alone is all you really need. Yeah. yeah. From long. That's that's a broken nose. That's a cut. <laughs> yeah. Blind, or blinding them. You know what I mean? Well, that's why even before when you had the pistol on your hip and you were holding that shield up to yeah. my eyes, I didn't see the draw it. No. no. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. Ooh. How's your handle on that though? You can handle the handle, it's not meant to hold it that way. Yeah. But. Yeah, so yeah, this changes yeah. it. I think I think you're right. I think just the jabs alone. Yeah. Jabs, boom, maybe. Maybe that hook. Maybe a hook, yeah. Yeah. Uppercut. That one hurts. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's knocking someone out. Yeah. I just figured out why the Filipino martial artists are always slapping themselves. So I was going jab, arresting the motion so I could, because it's heavier than my fist. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. That's when I hurt my finger. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah, grab it, dude. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah. I wanted to try to grab you. You yeah. had to make me grab you. Yeah. But then, like, like we were saying earlier, then you're focused on it. Yeah. And then you're not knowing what's, you know, and then he throws on, you know. You focus on that thing instead of getting, getting well, in the face. We did do a complete torture test where we tried to destroy this thing, but we ended up having too much fun and it's going to have to be in a separate video. We also talked about using it to defend against weapons or using it in conjunction with weapons. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.